Well, the crime was extremely violent. The victim beaten to death with a hatchet. Now, justice. Now, today, 23-year-old Quentin Odell was sentenced to life. Alicia Myers is in the newsroom with the latest. Alicia. Well, in May and December 2011, Quentin Odell killed one woman with a hatchet and disemboweled another woman with a razor. Quentin Odell will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. A life sentence where this man will literally leave prison um, in a coffin um, is appropriate. On May 31st, 2011, he hit his former co-worker, 22-year-old Alyssa Shippert, in the back of the head with a hatchet. He then struck her in the face many times with the same hatchet before pulling her into the Platte River. Shippert's father says the family knew Odell and never suspected him of such a horrific crime, especially because he was in the church the day the family laid her to rest. One day I wanted to hate him, but I just can't. I can't. I mean, you know, and I feel for his family because they've lost a child too now. Seven months after Shippert died on December 26, 2011, Odell sexually assaulted a 21-year-old woman at her apartment in Fairview. He then cut her stomach with a razor blade and watched her intestines fall out. The woman spent several days unconscious but survived. Prosecutor Eric Zond says it's because of her survival she and the Shippert family now have some closure. It was really his confession that linked him to the Alyssa Shippert murder. Odell avoided a possible death sentence by admitting to his crimes. Eric Zond says he wanted to impose the death penalty on Odell, but both victims' families wanted to end the case without enduring additional pain of the death penalty trial and other prolonged appeals. In the newsroom, Alicia Myers, 41 Action News.